Well, uh, in the latest instalment of our preview of the Donegal International Rally, I'm delighted to say that we've got the uh, the defending champion joining us now from uh, County Monaghan. That, of course, is Josh Moffat. Josh, good to see you and good to talk to you. Yeah, same to you. It's uh, just over a year since I, I was in the studio there with you. So, uh, yeah, look at uh, we're looking forward to this weekend again in Donegal. Yeah. What's the year been like for you then? Um, Donegal champion, obviously, 12 months ago. Uh, you won the Tarmac Championship last year. You won the National Championship alongside, of course, uh, your your main man, Andy Hayes. So uh, it was a fantastic 2022 for you when you're carrying all them titles and all those accolades around, Josh. Uh, it certainly was, I suppose. Uh, we, we had an unbelievable year last year. Um and uh, it was it was no easy easy road to that. Like the, the competition was high, and um, yeah, look at the year just just worked out for us very well. And I suppose we're, we're trying to continue that this year. And uh, it's been tough. I, I suppose results to date, to date probably not as good, but we're still leading both championships there at the minute. And um, so it's it's still been good to us all the same. Yeah. If we recap to Donegal, twenty twenty two was fantastic at the the end of the day the sunday it was a long marathon event and there was a big battle at the front was that the highlight of your rallying career josh <clears throat> oh um it, it probably it, it definitely has to be one of them like if not the, then uh, the, the number one yeah I, i'd say you're probably right there it uh, it probably has been the highlight like, yeah yeah and there was fantastic scenes at at, at the finish ramp and Obviously, your family and Sam was there as well. Sam's done this a, a number of occasions, so it was a big thing for you personally to do it to to sort of emulate what he has done. Yeah, I suppose that Sam's won the event twice now, and probably going into even like before starting last year, um, I sort of wondered would I ever win the, the rally, you know? And because uh, it, it is a challenge, and it's a, it's a long three days, and I suppose you need to be on the pace, but you also need to be there at the end of it to get the win. So. Yeah, look at to, to to finally get one. Um, it, it's it's been great. Yeah, is there any pressure on you now with number one on the door in Donegal? Okay, uh, I suppose time will tell, and I'll probably know better Friday morning. But I, I've ran number one on the road so many times. Um, so I suppose it's nothing new to me. Um, apart from going into Donegal with being number one on the door, but it it certainly it, it looks good to have number one on the side of the car anyway. Yeah, definitely does, and in particular for Donegal. But listen, you know yourself of these boys that are around you and the rest of the the, the seated positions. You've got the likes of Miriam, obviously Callum Devine, who's having a big tussle with you in the Irish Tarmac Championship at the minute. And then you're going to throw into the mix somebody like like Matt Edwards. So there's there's real quality here. Yeah, like I, I like everybody in the top 10, I would say at some stage over the weekend, we'll put in a fastest stage time. Um, as I said, like even... Everybody in the top ten really wants to win this r rally, and uh, will put all efforts that they have to to try and do that. Um, so look, it's going to be a challenging weekend. Obviously, we want to win the rally, but <laughs> so do so many other people. So it's it's certainly not going to be easy. Yeah. Do you have to be on it from the get go on Friday, or how do you manage these three days? Yeah, look, at, I suppose we're just going to take it in our stride and see how it goes first. Um. Obviously, the rally's not going to be won on Friday or Saturday. Um, it's it, it's only won after the, the final stage on Sunday. So um, I suppose it's about managing that. And, and uh, yeah, look at it. It's a tough one. Like It certainly is. It, you, don't, you can't get too far away or, or you won't get there either. Um, but it's just about being there or thereabouts and then making a big push in the end, I think. Yeah. I know I've been talking to several different drivers over the, over the past week about what their favourite stages and they vary from Nogala to the returning Gary Gort, which is coming back this year. What's the one that's going to stand out for you? The one that sticks in your head, Josh, that you look forward to the most here in Donegal? Okay, I think all the stages are good, to be fair. Like, uh, I enjoy them all. Um, Gary Gort, obviously, is a bit different this year and I don't really recognise it that much. And obviously, Friday stages are new. Um, and I think the new stages um, that nobody's done I don't, I don't know anybody who has done them. I think maybe some of them ran 15 odd years ago. So um, I think the, the new stages will bring new challenge and it, it'll be good. But obviously the, the likes of Knock Alla and all those stages are always very good. And it's it's nice to be queued up there and, and take off up the up the hill. Yeah. 
Are you content with how the year is going so far, uh, Josh? Um, you're leading the Tarmac Championship. You've taken the lead in the National as well. And now you're going to, to Donegal, seated number one. Are, are you content with where you're at at the minute? Because it's really difficult to do things consecutive years, so it is. Oh, it is. Um, but I think whenever whenever it's going for you, it's going. Um, and I suppose just trying to continue on where we left off last year, it's, it's probably easier than the likes of taking a year out where you, you, you lose a lot of seat time. And I think that sort of happened Sam there where, where he, he didn't do much rallying last year and now he's trying to catch up. But I suppose Donegal's always been quite good to Sam and, uh, you know, he really enjoys the rally. So I'm sure he's going to be on a big push um, again this year. But uh, yeah, look, at the, the year's been going good for us in general. And uh, yeah. Looking forward to continuing that. Hopefully, yeah. is there a confidence then with with you and and Andy that you can do it again this year in Donegal? Yeah, look, at it's just you have uh, to be confident, I suppose. Come you on. have to be confident, but you, you need to be you need to be um, you need to be uh, like you need to know the challenges out there, and it's not going to come easy. So, um, you, you need to be on it and, and aware of that. Like. Okay, well, listen, we look forward to you and Andy. The number one on the door on the on the Friday at the start ramp, uh, heading off to to South Donegal for for the new stages because it's a it's a big week in Donegal sport and it's going to be headed up by Josh Moffat after what you done last year. We wish you and Andy every success over the weekend and we'll be we'll be talking to you on Friday, Josh. Yeah, no, thank you very much. And uh, we're we're going to have both cars at Divers Hyundai in Letterkenny on Thursday afternoon. Uh, if anybody wants to call in and, and see them, okay, we'll do. Good man, thanks, Josh. Thank you very much. Bye.